Welcome back to Virginia This Morning. Well, good morning. Welcome back. Listen to this. Local artist Stanley Rayfield's portrait of his father is one of only seven paintings shortlisted for the National Portrait Gallery's portrait competition. That's a big thing. The painting will be displayed this fall at the Smithsonian, and he joins us today to talk about this unique accomplishment. Stanley, welcome. Hey, how Congratulations. You doing? Thank you. The Thank Smithsonian. You. You. When did you get the word? Um, I got the word like right before, um, right at the end of May, right before June started. Did yeah. you think they were kidding? Um, I definitely was just really excited, and uh, I just jumped for joy. So you know, told my parents. My mom was crying. It was just like it was really just a shock, man. Was know? this something you entered into a competition, or did they find your artwork somewhere? Um, How did this was, come about? It was a competition. Mm -hmm. It was a competition. Um, an artist friend of mine also goes by the name of Stanley Brown. Um, he told me about it, and um, I entered it. You know, and uh, you know, I just I just was trying to think of something that you know, what was the best thing I could possibly do with what I know, and mm -hmm. I just decided to paint my father. Now, the portrait is called Dad. Tell us about it and the inspiration behind it. Well, the inspiration, um, of course, you know, it's my dad, it's in the title, um, and... We're taking a look at it right now. Um, and my dad, he um, he's, has a lot of, you know, medical disabilities and things mm -hmm. of that nature, and I just wanted to show people that despite that, he still was a, a powerful figure to me. He still was my father. He, you know, he taught me to be a man, he showed me all the things that, you know, he's a great father, despite these things, you know. This is an interesting moment in time that you captured here, time being, you have a clock in there as well. How did you come up with this particular moment in his life that you wanted to capture on cam canvas? Um, I mean, I, I just, he, he's been through heart surgery. Um, he's, you know, he, he's been on oxygen, you know, he's been in and out of the hospital. And I just wanted to just show all the roadblocks that he's had. And, uh, you know, he walks with a cane. Um, and but this I, shows a very vital man here. Yeah, I know, I know, and I, and I wanted to show that despite these things, you know, with the pose, with the strength, and the way he's standing, and the seriousness and the intensity, that he's still that guy no matter what, mm -hmm. you know, and that's how I see him. I wanted people to see him through this painting. Did you have to like convince that. him to actually pose for the painting? <laughs> I mean, he, my parents are very supportive, very, very supportive, and, um, you know, I told him the idea. I, you know, I, I asked him, you know, could he, could he stand for me? Could he sit for a couple sketches? So, mm -hmm. it, you know, it just, it took, it took some weeks of planning, you know, setting up for everything and how um how long did it take you to paint uh, how long did it take me to paint probably about uh, 80 hours that's a long time yeah yeah, yeah. It took a while. So, so the painting is going to be on display at the smithsonian from this fall actually through n the end of next summer yeah, so how yeah. many trips are you planning to go up to see <laughs> I, I have no idea i have no idea I'm, I'm i'm just excited and just uh anticipating the first one you uh -huh. know so. Taking the whole family with you to go see it. Um, what do you think yeah. that moment's going to be like to see it in the Smithsonian, which is probably the premier gallery in this country anyway? I, you know, I'm just trying to stay focused. You know, I'm just looking at it like uh, it's, it's another blessing, and uh, I'm just going to keep just staying on my track, staying focused, keep painting, keep drawing. If it was me, I would be standing there tapping people on the shoulder saying, I painted that. Yes, I painted that, yes. <laughs> I mean, I mean you, you I, must I, be thrilled. I mean, yeah, it's I, also yeah, what, I what, your, what your dad and your mom thought as well. I mean, they must be tickled. I mean, yeah, they're, they're, they're very proud of me. They're very proud of me. Um, they, they just always have supported me. They've been a great support system. And uh, they're just, you know, really excited. And I am too. And I'm uh, just... Well, you're Taking one, it one day at a time. Seven you know? finalists for the twenty-five thousand dollar prize. When will you find out? I will find out October twenty-second. Ah, the uh, day it goes on on display, or the day before it goes on display at the Smithsonian. Yeah, yeah. That they have like a private opening, and then they're just gonna announce the award winners and. Yeah. Well, How's your dad feeling? Uh, my my dad's my dad's doing good. He has a a doctor's appointment today, and uh, you know he's just having some problems with his foot. But, uh, you know, we're praying for the best, though, and I'm sure he'll be fine. We're wishing the best. Well, you're a product of the Henrico County High School system. Yeah, yep, And definitely. you've been drawing since you were a little one, yeah. and uh, you're doing very well. And we wish you the best of luck, and congratulations. We'll have to make a trip up to the Smithsonian yeah, too, yeah. to see the, the, the painting. It's yeah. called Dad Stanley Rayfield. Congratulations, and Thank we wish you. you the best of luck with the contest. Thank you so much. You're very welcome.